Hi there. My name is Aaron Latterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I am fascinated by the Hartman neuron, which was a synthesizer that in many respects was ahead of its time. In addition to the standalone hardware unit, it also became available as a VST with a specialized hardware controller. Stephen Bernsey has made available a version of the Neuron VS that can run without the specialized hardware controller, although you really need a very particular combination of operating system and computer to run it. As you could probably guess from the name, the Hartman Neuron did a lot of weird stuff with neural networks. They created a software called Model Maker that would let you train your own models based on audio files that you fed it. There is a Hartman Neuron Synthesizer group on Facebook with a really thorough files section. It includes the Model Maker software, both the OS 9 and OS X versions for Mac, and the Windows version. Unfortunately, although I was able to get the Neuron VS software itself working for a particular combination of computer and operating system that I own, I wasn't able to get the Model Maker software working, at least the Macintosh versions of the Model Maker, on any of my Macintoshes in any sort of virtual machines, no matter what Java runtimes I downloaded. So then I thought, well, maybe I can get the Windows version running in a virtual machine. I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro running Monterey, and I installed Windows 11 via Parallels. You can probably do the same thing that I'm about to show you using UTM or the underlying QEMU, but that looked kind of complicated, so I haven't tried it. Anyway, if you download the PC version of Model Maker and try running it in Windows directly, it will complain about needing to install the correct version of Java. And if you ask for help, you will not get useful help. So, following the advice of Django Flow in this November 14th, 2022 post on the Hartman Neuron Synthesizer Facebook group, you need to go get the correct Java 5 SDK. Okay, so there's Java SE5. Scrolling down a bit, we want the Windows-AMD64.exe version here. And you just install it in the usual way. So instead of running Model Maker directly, we'll run it through the start script that sets this path to have this particular JDK. Now, you could just permanently add this to your main path, but I think it's probably nice to do it this way so that it's only doing this when you're running Model Maker and other programs that are looking at the JDKs don't get confused. Or maybe, maybe this isn't a problem. I'm not really a fan of Windows and don't use it unless I really have to. So I don't know. Hi. Okay, something strange. So the other day, I swore that I ran this program from the file system on the Macintosh side that's mounted here but it doesn't seem to want to run. So what I did is I copied it over to this local C disk, and when I run it here, it seems to run happily. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, here is Model Maker. The one disadvantage we have here is that this is very, very tiny. So I noticed that up here in view, there's this selection for retina resolution, and if I go to the configure menu, it says scaled, graphics scaled to full size, best for legacy apps. So let's try that. Okay, let's see, does that help? Oh yeah, look at that. Alrighty, so I haven't actually tried to load sounds in it and create models, but I think this is a lot of progress and I'll try that another time.